Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and today is episode number 50, I think. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today's going to be kind of a short episode only because I don't have a lot of stuff to show. I'm still working on the same whips that I was working on last week. I don't have any finished objects this week. I do have some acquisitions that I'll show you. We just got back from... Um, Hobby Lobby and Walmart getting some material to make some bags with and I've got a couple other things. Um, if you hear anything in the background, Devin, Kat, and Jesse are all back in the living room. So you might hear them moving around or something. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into this because we're going to be going and looking for painted rocks in a little while. And we have something we got to hide. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop in with my whips, which I'll just do my hat first since it's right here. This is my Magikarp hat, which is a Pokemon, if you know what Pokemon is. Um, I'm really close to being done with the body. I only have a couple more rolls in the body. And it is the Carpe Diem, I don't know how to say that right, uh, Useless Goldfish Monster Hat. I'll have it linked below. I'm using a G-Hook and Red Heart Yarns, but here it is. Get some slack. This is it so far. This is its lips and its face will be right here, its eyes. And it's body. The body is in a, like a shell stitch. And uh, if it's, I've tried it on. <laughs> oh, I got a ponytail right now. But it'll be, you know, floppy with its fins and stuff. Um, so I do, I gotta finish this, these last few rows. Make the fins and the eyes, the facial features and things like that. And I'll be done with it. So I'm really close to being done with it. Uh, the colors are Red Heart Super Saver Light Raspberry and Red Heart Super Saver Carrot. I think it's Carrot. Yeah, because Pumpkin's the bright one. And, yeah, I'm liking it. I really like it so far. I can't wait to finish it. Once I finish it, I will be making Devin a Pikachu one. Because his little character on Pokemon Go wears a Pikachu hat. So, yeah. I really like this. Put it in its bag. It's living in one of my project bags that I made last year, a Christmas themed one. Alright, the next whip is a blanket. It's not my Mandala Menace though. It is one that I started, I think last week. I can't exactly remember. But it's the Halloween Granny Square Blanket by Maria's Blue Crown. It's a crochet along that's going on right now. I believe it's... Excuse me. Uh, it's a crochet along that's going on right now. I believe it is a nine week crochet along. And this is the third week today. Saturday starts the third week. Um, so the last two weeks I've had to make... Four purple granny squares, four gray ones, and then eight different um, appliques. So here's my purple squares. <laughs> this is my heart super saver amethyst. They're just granny squares. Um, it's not that crazy purple <laughs> in real life, but it is a deep purple. I have eight of those. And then I made eight gray squares, and they are made with mainstays. I think it's light heathered gray or medium heathered gray. And last week was the ghost ones, and I made the ghosts, and I showed them last week, and now they're sewn on. It's really blown out because of the window. But I got four with ghosts on it. And then this last week was witch faces. So um, all my witches look a little different just because tension and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> but also it's okay because it makes them look a little different. But they're also on gray squares. I couldn't get the nose to pop out as well as she did. But that's one witch. The second witch, her hair's a little crazy. The third one. And the fourth one. <laughs> I think they're cute. But um, all of the witches is made out of Red Heart too. It's Red Heart, Super Saver Black, Amethyst, Pumpkin, and Spring Green, and then just little safety eyes on there. I'm not worrying about hiding my sew-in parts so bad because I plan on, after I put the blanket together and put a border on it, I plan on backing it with fleece. I'm going to find some cute Halloween fleece print or just maybe like a solid black or orange or something to back it with. So I have 16 squares done. I think there's 68 in all. I can't exactly remember. This week, um, I think it is four more gray and orange one four orange ones i think i'm not sure i just looked at it but i don't know if you're right and the little appliques this week is a skeleton's face it kind of looks like jack skellington off of um 
Now we're for Christmas. Yeah, so that's coming along good. I like that because it's not a lot of pressure to finish it. You know, I just do the eight squares and the four appliques each week, and that's it. So, um, I think I finished these witches yesterday. I just sewed them on while Jesse was watching the old Dis Disney uh, Robin Hood with the foxes. But it's it's good. I like this square, or uh, this gray square blank. I can't wait to finish it. And let's see, that, go, that brings me to my last whip, which is the Mandala Madness. I did finish part 10, so I'm in part 11 right now, which is pretty cool. I'm getting closer and closer to being done. I hope I have time to finish the whole thing before our fair. And I, they updated their website. The day that we go to enter stuff in the fair is September 1st, uh, between 8 and 12, 8 a.m. and 12 p.m. that day. Um, but it's the Mandela Madness by Helen Shrimpton. I'm using a G-hook on it. I gotta get it, though. Oh, and I forgot. These are made with a J-hook, but the squares are J-hook. The uh, appliques are G-hooks. Okay, this is my Mandela Madness. I don't know you can see it. <laughs> I think the last time you saw it was in this yellow and green. So I finished off the tenth section, which is this green right here, and then where the blue starts is the 11th part so I did two rows of blue a row of purple and then this row of white and I think I got two more rounds to do to finish part 11 and then I'll be moving on to part 12 I really like this white part it came out really cool these are double triple crochets worked <laughs> through there it looks really neat section or part 11 has been pretty easy so far <laughs> and it's getting big and it's very heavy and I wanted to talk about this because one of my acquisitions is a scanning yarn for the Mandela Madness. So far, I have used an entire skein of red, an entire skein of orange. Now, I still have a little ball of orange, but I have used an entire skein of red, a whole entire skein of yellow, and a whole skein of white. And I'm almost out of the first skein of green and blue and orange. I still got a lot of purple left, but that's because I was using one of those jumbo red heart ones. It's like two skeins. So, uh, and it's about half gone, so it's about a whole skein of purple. So I'm a little over halfway down with the blanket, and I've almost used up an entire skein of each color. So I just bought another white, but I already had some of the other ones in my stash. So it's definitely, it uses a lot of yarn, and I'll probably use, let's see, how many colors are there? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven colors. I think I'm, it's going to be probably a 14 skein project, maybe even a little bit more over that because, you know, obviously, obviously as I go on further, um, making it bigger, the rounds are going to get longer and use more yarn. And plus some of these rounds, like this green one and what's another one, any of these with these bobbles on it, they use a lot of yarn. So, um. It really depends on what stitches I'll be doing and all that. But I am keeping track of all the yarn so that I can put it in my notes. So if anyone wants to make an, a Mandela Madness in the future, um, you'll know uh, you'll have an idea about how much yarn you need. Of course, it also varies by size hook you use and your own tension. I think I crochet fairly tight, so that's a little thing that you know to look into. If you're a loose crocheter, you would need less, a little bit less yarn. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah. It's looking awesome. Back in there. Alright, that is all of my whips. And I just squished one of them. Let me get that out of there. <laughs> that in there. Alright, I'm going to talk about my acquisitions real fast and then anything else that I might think of. Alright, I'll just talk about the yarn since I, this was the first thing I bought. I bought this Thursday. I went and got it Thursday at Hobby Lobby. And it's just a skein of all of this yarn uh, white <laughs> for the Mandela Madness. I haven't even used it yet because I still have like a little ball of white left. Now today we went to Hobby Lobby again and um, to Walmart in the city next to us. Because our Walmart doesn't carry fabric anymore. They have fat squares but not bolts. So I wanted to go to our neighboring city to look at theirs. To look at their discount bin and 
clearance material to see if I could find any for uh, bags because this uh, this August August first through the thirty first of the thirty one days yeah um, I'm gonna have a sale on all my bags are gonna be twenty percent off again because I'm wanting to use any money that I earn through August for a vacation that we're gonna we're planning on doing in September so I'll show you Walmart first because we went there first. And there'll be some little random clips in my weekend vlog that I took, so. But I just got a yard of black to use as liners. And I also got a yard of white. Oops. A yard of white to use as liners. And then I got a yard of this. This was beside the Minnie Mouse yarn. But it's black with different colored bows on it. It was on clearance. It was $2.50 a yard, so I got a yard of it. And I thought this was cute. This is um, Snoopy and Woodstock. It was also on clearance. I think it was, yeah, it was $4 a yard. So I got a yard of that to make bags with. And that's everything I got at Walmart. No, it's not. I got this. This was in there. It's either pre-cut yarn from people buying it and bringing it back. Or it's also sometimes the end of a bolt. And uh, they discount it a little bit. And this is 44 inches wide and 29 inches long. Of, and I have some of this material that I'm going to be making a project bag and uh, notions pouches with. It's a, what is it called? Marvel. I forgot what it's called. I think this is, this is roughly a half a yard. A little bit more than half a yard. Of Marvel comics. That I can, I could probably make two project bags out of this. Or... A project bag and some notions bags. Uh, and this was two dollars. It was dollar ninety nine for that. That's all I got at Walmart. And then we went to Hobby Lobby uh, because I wanted to look at their clearance material. I got two things of material and a few other things. And I got one yard of this material. I just thought it was really pretty. Hannah had some of this the other day. Okay, my phone storage got full. I had to delete some stuff, but. Um, Hannah has some of this material as well, I was saying, and it's a mint green color with swans on it. Really cute. And then I got a yard of this to use as a liner or even outer fabric, and it's white and gold. It's like some sort of flower motif. Then <laughs> I picked up a few ribbons because I had some marked down. These were all marked down to 50 cents each, and it was pink with gold circles. A gray one and this gold and white one and then a green and gold polka dotted one and also got two um, all their Sewology brand sewing notions were half off so I got two sets of buttons that I need for a fair project I need more than this but they only had two left so I'll grab two and hopefully they'll get more before the fair that's for my patriotic reef and then I got I think a pins because I just need some pins <laughs> preferably i hope these are sharper than the ones i currently have but yeah that's all my acquisitions that i've gotten um yeah i think that's everything i don't really have a lot of other stuff to talk about i was going to talk about fair projects but because my phone is full i gotta take some stuff off of it um i think i'll save that for another video maybe just make its own video about showing the stuff i've made for the fair so far and things i still need to make i have a whole list of things that i still need to make but i don't know if i'll make all of them I'm just going to try to squeeze out as many as I can between now and September 1st. Um, well, I guess August 31st. Because September 1st is when i got to go do it. But, yeah. Um, I'm going to keep on filming today and tomorrow for the weekend vlog, which will be out Monday sometime. This will hopefully be out today, which is Saturday. If not, it'll be for sure out Sunday. Whenever I get a chance to sit down and edit it and all that. Um, yeah, I hope everybody's having a good weekend. And I'm sorry my videos have been kind of short lately. It's just because I've been working on the Mandala Madness pretty hardcore. I haven't really started a lot of stuff. But um, I'm going to start doing some of the smaller fair projects. Trying to get some more things done. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. I, there's a few wreaths I need to make. But I don't know if I'm going to have time to make them. Because they're kind of time consuming. But yeah. I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here. And go back in the living room. Because i got to put all this stuff up. And I think Jesse went down for a nap. So I can get some crochet and squaws in before he wakes up. So I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be out hopefully Monday. Bye, guys.